um, we were able to actually rehearse this T-CAR procedure the day before we did the procedure on two different patients uh, in our operating rooms. And, and we assembled our, our entire team that was, um, that was to do the procedure the next day. We assemb assembled them in the simulation center and we had um, everyone from the, the surgeons to the anesthesiologists, the circulators, the scrubs, um, everyone was there. So now, I'll probably just uh, confirm it once again. That's good. I you think you'll confirm flow in the ICA as well? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, take a knife. Just one knife. Felt like it was like we were actually doing the procedure, and we were able to fine-tune nuances that we wanted to make sure we're in place for the for the actual procedure the next day. So okay, so now we're able to start hooking up. Now you want to take two. I, I can remember um, after after having this doing the simulation, going to bed that night, thinking about the the the, the procedures that we were, we would be doing that next morning, and I felt like the whole team was confident and ready uh, for that procedure and that we had um, that we were fully prepared to really uh, perform at, at the highest level and the next day when we went into surgery that's what that's that's what that's what I felt that's what the rest of the team felt and that's what happens we were able to to um, to execute um, you know essentially flawlessly and it, and it was just um, it was it was just beautiful to have that experience and, and to have that um, simulation center that that could help prepare us in that way.